Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Fang RC back again with another updated video on the felony, the Black Stallion, the Black Stallion. So, what I want to do today is just uh, I drop a video before, uh, demonst well, demonstrating the best way I can uh, how I, I, I did the, the rear bumper. Rear bumper, that's what I call it. How I did the rear bumper? That video is there, okay? Bumper. Um, let me turn the light on. Yeah. See? How I did that. Okay? The video is there. Now I'm going to show you now a little bit more to it. We got we our, our spoiler. Let me show you the... Um, okay. You know what? I don't want to scratch up the... Let me put on my shirt here so I won't scratch up the body. I know it's going to get scratched up when I start running it. I know that. But for now, I try to keep it scratch-free as I possibly can. Let me put my shirt down. I want to show you the underneath. The body. The, uh, underneath. Oh, okay, well. Okay. All right, let me take the camera off. Okay, as you all know, all the skid plate, skid plates, uh, splitter, all that's all made by yours truly. So I just want to show you. All the screw holes are countersink, so the screw will sit flush okay this two back here is for the um the rear bumper okay it ties in with the whole the side skirt okay as i just said it could be they call it side skirts but it's also a body splitter just like this one the front splitter basically all splitters help with the uh, g-force Okay, but you know, side skirt, splitter, whatever. So the back one is for the bumper, so it won't get damaged. Okay, all right, so that's underneath. All right, hold on, I'm gonna take the body off. Okay, body's off. All right, let me give you a forward shot, you know, car and body. Okay, let me show you the body. Well, this saw I'm gonna build a, um, a, a grill, all right? When I build, do that grill, I'll show you. Okay, I'll bring that. Okay, let me show you what I did in there. The lights, you can see there. Oh, and these lights, let me show you. Okay, hold on, give me, I gotta bend down here. These lights I actually got from a Walmart. That's the box. Well, you know what? No, I'm wrong. That's not lights. Well, yeah, I also got some at Walmart too. Yeah, but a different package. Also got these uh, from Walmart in the uh, automotive section. Uh, I think like three or four came in a pack and there was like, uh, like 20, 23, 24 bucks. You know, something like that. But yeah, these lights, get them from Walmart. I want to get the clear ones, but these are actually orange, but they're really, really bright, and they're 12 volt, so they won't. These won't run with your uh, ESC. They won't. They're too strong. So these are 12 volt. I'm gonna show you how I how I run those. Okay. So let me show you. Okay. This is just the um, the uh, um, the the glue stick. You know. The glue you plug it in and you the hot glue the glue you know glue gun okay this is my rear bumper in front okay so the brackets that's how I hold on, hold on to the bumper these uh holes right here the screw right here the screw right here that's what the original bumper <clears throat> the one I took off that uh plastic bumper that comes with it 
that's the two holes for the bumper. Uh, not bumper, what am I saying? Not bumper, I mean spoiler. The original spoiler. So that's the two holes, okay? I use those two holes. All right? And then the spoiler now, the spoiler that I put on, a bill for it, you have two different holes, but you can't see those holes. They're in the back. All right, so. And another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do another video too. On the back. You know what? Let me go. Uh, I'm trying to make more videos, but. Uh. Okay, let me tell you since I'm here. What the hell? Kind of selling myself short because more video, more video, more video. But, okay, see so these right here? These, the flaps, the bottom pieces that come on the car. Okay, the glue that comes with it, because it's glued right here, in, I mean, inside, this to this, the glue is inside here. It would be best, because if you notice right here, this is not glue right here, see? The glue is actually weak, see that? The glue is weak. So you need to put a, a two-side tape there. I didn't do this yet. I didn't do this yet. That's why. Because when I do it, I'm going to put tape here too, also. Up here. Right here. My phone light does turn off because my battery is low. So that's why you see the change in the, uh, the video. So anyway, I didn't glue this yet. So that's a heads up for you guys. If you have this, put a strong glue. Because, you see, right here. The glue starts from, from right here to right here. But what about here? But when I do it, I'm going to do from here. All the way from the back, come all the way, and right here, in between. You see that movement? So you have that. It, uh, it will not have the display anymore. Okay. So the heads up for you guys. All right. <clears throat> I should have done that a separate video, but hey, what the hell? All right. So let me put this inside. Now you see my body. All right. Sorry for the little. Okay. So let me explain this a little bit now. Sorry for my video, man. My video is all over the place because I have the phone in my hand and I'm moving around, so you know that go. All right, if you notice right here, let me show you first, and then I'm going to put this thing on a tripod so I can demonstrate something quickly. So I'm, I'm not going to talk. Let me just... I only have one battery so far. Well, I got two batteries, but this is going to be out. This is... Actually, you know what? I can get this out. Because I, I just put it here to, uh, to to turn the lights on and all that stuff, to test the lights. But this is not what I'm going to use. This is a 3S battery. Just like this, a 3S. A Z. Uh, let me see. Okay, I use this to run my lights. Okay? But the next thing coming, this is going to be 8S. It's in, still in 6S 6, 6S mode. All right, see, still success. So all this is gonna be uh, it is. So that's my next video I'm gonna drop. Well, you know, coming soon. All right. All right. So let me put this back in a tripod so I can demonstrate this thing quickly. Okay, I want to demonstrate two things. Okay, if you notice right here, there's a, a screw. I want to get black ones, but I, I couldn't find a black one, so I use silver. The bolts is. It runs through the uh, the splitter, come up to the, the bumper here, the plastic bumper. Because for all you guys who have this uh, felony, <clears throat> say for example, if I didn't run this bolt through, because if, oh, let me show you. Oh, you know what, let me just show you so you have a better visual of what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. The felony comes with, um, one, two, three, four, five bolts that hold on the, you know, the original plastic splitter that comes with it, okay? Just these one, two, three, four, five bolts, and that's it. This two now is optional. Why I put those there? Let me show you. Okay. For you guys have this car and don't have the bolts on it, just get the plastic flap right here. It's, it it moves like this. It's very uh, flexible. 
you know, it moves, it moves. Now it's solid, I can't get between it, see, it's solid. I can't pick it up. But before you just do like this, you just flap it like this. So for all you have this felony, see, just do this and you see. So what that, what that does now, when you're driving, <clears throat> you know, this is a fast car. Out of the box, I've seen guys 103 miles out the box. I mean, out the box, zip, 103 miles, you know? So it's a fast car. So um, when, and these guys I see run that fast, they do the same thing here too, because if you're going to drive this car pretty fast out of the box, right? Um, this thing flaps, and it's not good. When you're running, the hair, the, G, uh, the G-Force, the wind get into it and can flip your car. And I've also seen guys on YouTube that drive these cars, zip, and it just zoop, it just flip over. The wind pick it up and just toss it around in here like a, a, pee, uh, like a plastic bag. So these are some simple things, simple steps that you can uh, secure your car to be stable when you go into a high speed, speed run, dragon, whatever. Okay, so this is what the two bolts are. I, as I said, I want to get black, but I couldn't find a black. So, but I'm gonna paint these black, you know? <clears throat> so what it does, it hold the bumper down. So see, I can't get, see, I can't pick it up. My nails, I'm trying to pick it up. Before when you do this, the it just flapping like that. So that's that. I wanna show that. And also, you will notice that there's a battery pack. Let me zoom in a little bit. That battery pack right there. Okay. This, what runs my light? This, uh, you know, there's a 3S, 11.1 volt, uh, 3S. Uh, it is a, it, it is a 100C rate battery, which the 100C don't really matter in this case. But it's, I'm gonna tell you the specs on it. It's a five, five, 5,200 milliamp, 100C. 11.1 volt, uh, 3S, okay? So I use this now to run my lights, my brake lights, fog lights, fog lights, and my headlights, okay? But now, if I wanna take this off, for example, I wouldn't use the fog lights or the, um, the headlights when I'm going speed run because I'm not going to, I mean, unless you really, well, I personally, I'm pretty sure if guys do it. If you go on YouTube, you see guys do it, but I wouldn't run my car doing a speed runs at nighttime unless the, the whole street is well lit. I mean, bright. But um, speed runs for me, for me would be in the daytime. So when I'm doing speed runs, I don't use lights. If I'm bashing around, you know what I'm saying, driving, doing some uh, some uh, drifting and, you know, just bashing around parking lot or whatever on the street, then I turn the lights on. But now, if when I'm doing speed runs, all I do is take this out. The way I designed this, I'm going to show you how I do it. I just um, I put two holes in here in, the, uh, in my um, in my brace. You know, in the body brace. No, well, yeah, in this brace right here. And uh, then I use uh, these little, what do you call these things now? Um, it's a, I forgot what you call them, but you use them to uh, re thread, re thread the screw, the screw hole. So, okay, well, you can see one. Well, there's not really a seat. I just re-thread it, and uh, so the bolts I can come out pretty easy. It's two, okay? So what I did now, see, I'm, I build this plate right here, okay? And uh, it's with a battery. It's um, some Gorilla two-side tape. The Gorilla two-side tape, super, super strong. This thing not going nowhere. I use them to pick the car up. Like it's there, I can pick the car up. Solid. Solid. Okay? So anyway, so point is this though. When I'm going speed run, this is deleted. Take it out. Just two screw, take two seconds, take it out. So let's wait in the car. 
Okay, freed up, just like in a car. As I said, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say something, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. But just let's wait. But when I'm bashing around, you know, like a drifting or whatever, then I put it back on. Okay, so it can come off easily. All right. So that's what's under the hood. All right. So the brace here is done. You remember I did some videos before where it was, in, you know. Rough stage is just right here. You need to rub down, rub down, and polish. And it's rub down and polish. I don't know what you can see, it, but it is. So my next big thing for this car now is coming is um, the ADA system. All right. And as I said before, like you watch some of my videos, you will see like I'm a person like say, oh, I have something coming, but I won't say. Kind of a surprise, blah blah blah. But I don't do that anymore. Whatever I have to do, I just let you know straight up. This what's coming, this one will do, and uh, just stay tuned and you will see. So, as I said before, I'm going to uh, put, I'm going to put an ADS in this, but what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my, the ADS system, the ESC motor combo from my uh, Creighton, my armor Creighton. I'm going to put it in here. You understand? And then this system now going to go into my, um, this success system I'm gonna go into my um, my 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 typhoon my armor typhoon. Okay, so that's the plan for that. Okay, um, so stay tuned for that that next video and uh, for me to drop that and it's coming. All right, so pretty much I'm done with this. You know, listen, I'm gears. Ain't that something? Listen. That's music. Woo! Love that. Yeah, I'm not sure what gear I'm going to run yet. Um, when I put an ADAS in it, I'm not sure. I, get, I will let you guys know that. But um, uh, apart from putting the ADAS system, I'm pretty much done, like, you know, with... No, no. Well, that's not true. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do two more things. Actually, I wish I could get this if Arbor they build this. Like right here, you can see the um the uh the, uh, the brace right here because this is aluminum, right? This is not aluminum. This is iron, like steel. The uh the strut tower right here, steel. But these are plastic. I'm gonna check and see. The last time I checked, they did not have. But I wish Armor could build this one in either aluminum or steel. The uh the support brace. The support for the brace right here. God, get out of the way. This uh, this right here, this piece right here. I wish the billet and steel are, are at least aluminum. You understand? Because if, they, if this thing crash, this is steel right here, so that's good. But this right here, you know, I mean, you know what? I'm going to see if I can build one for that. I'm not sure. I, I don't know how this design. I have to take it apart. If I can build one, I can build it. If not, I'll try to buy one. Okay, so this and also the one in the back, this one, this, all right? I wish they have it in steel or because this, the braid, the, uh, the shock tower is steel, steel or aluminum, all right? So for impact resistant because this is plastic. If a crash going like say six, 70, 80 miles, all is going to be shattered. So if I can build that, I build it. I never took it apart to see how it is. If I can build it, I build it. If not, I try safe armor to sell that. But the last time I checked, I didn't. So anyway, um, what is okay? What I was saying that I want to build. I am gonna build. And if you can see the brace right here, you can see the uh, the body brace right here. One right here, and also the one in the back right here. That's easy. I'm gonna build that. That's simple stuff. I just I was gonna do what I totally forgot, but I'm gonna do this and the one in front. And also, as I said, if they can, if I don't know, if I can build this whole piece, the brace right here, I will. If not, I'm gonna see if Armor got it. All right, so stay tuned for the next video. The next video you see of this car, it will be. Ades, no more success. So, as I said, let me say quickly before I go. 
I'm going to put the ADIS system, the ESC combo, from my Creighton, my armor Creighton, in this. Okay. I want to make this ADIS, right? But I don't want to go off the market. I was thinking about doing uh, the Castle, 1100 KV or 800 KV. But I know that 1100 KV would be a best bet for this because the 1100 KV have more tap and speed. The 800 KV or 900 KV have more torque. You know, the 800 KV I put in my X Max because that's more torque. You know, low end torque, but the 1100 KV have more tap and speed. So I was going to go with the 1100 uh, KV for this, the, the Cast 1100 KV, or, and the, um, the, um, what's the name? What's the name? The, um, the Abbey Wing Easy Run Max 5 ESC. That ESC is awesome. I got that in my Rampage MT, and that thing's awesome. So I was going to go with that setup. The Castle 1100 KV with along with the um abbey wing easy run max 5 but i say you know what let me take the one on my uh my creighton because that's gonna be upgraded too so i put it in here because reason i want to keep it armor i want to keep it armor i want to keep it uh armor firm aware armor firm aware the smart technology even though i'm not using the batteries but later on i buy some batteries you know I think they're kind of overpriced, and really, the only reason why, the only reason why this they 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 class as smart batteries is because it just tell you right here the meter how much battery life you have. Maybe you're full, or you uh, quarter, or you three quarter, or you empty, which is a pretty cool thing. But to spend extra money for just this, uh, the car will shut down when the battery go low. Anyway, so um, what I was saying now, um, what I was saying, so anyway, I want to keep it armor. So I'm going to take the one for my crate and put it in here because, okay, the way I, I analyze things now is this. The armor Creighton is like, uh, out of the box, like 24 pounds, right? 24, 24 pounds because I weighed it before. And that is without batteries, right? So put battery in there, you, know, you may be looking at 26, 26 and a half, 27 pounds, all right? Okay. Now this car now, out the box, without batteries, out the box, with the original stuff, not with these brace or the, the skirts or whatever, is I, I did it to, it was eight point, point something it was close to nine pounds but it was eight point something something ounce okay so with all this extra aluminum right and with the battery batteries you may be looking at maybe uh and with extra battery you're looking at maybe 14 pounds and something but it should be under definitely under 15 pounds so with this with a car this light with an eight with an 8S system pushing it, I should get some really, really, really good speed. Because let me tell you before, I said it before in my, one of my videos. My Abbey Shop, one of my Abbey Shop that I go to, um, the guy that owned the Abbey Shop, he uh, worked in these cars too. You know what I'm saying? He's a, he's a person like me. He worked in these cars. He, this guy know like, what I know about, what I know about these cars is, is joke compared to what, these guy, what this guy know about these cars. I mean, this guy like, it's freaking awesome, man. So he, he taught me a lot too. So anyway, he did a, a he did a, a upgrade for a customer with the same car, the felony. So he took out the success and he put the armor Creighton system in this. And he said the customer went out and tested. I mean, these cars success are the box that they're, they're super fast. As I said before, I seen a guy success out of box 103 miles per hour. 85, 90, 90 something, you know what I'm saying? So these cars are the badass. But yeah, just to know that uh, kind of peace of mind, like, hey man, I'm 80s now, I'm not success anymore, you know? That's that's a cool feeling. Oh, running. Hey man, where you running? Are you success? Nah, bro, I'm 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 80s, man. I'm pushing the hate, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's a pretty cool feeling. So back to this guy now. He uh did it for a customer. Customer went out, the customer came out. 
the car went like uh, 110, 115, easy, 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 easy. He said he got so scared because out of the box success is, is fast. We all know. But with the ADS in it, that uh, Creighton, ADS pushing this light car, crazy fast. So the customer was saying kind of get a little scared, you know, but so basically I'm trying to achieve that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look, once I put the credit system in this and if I can go to hunch, then realistically, spe realistically speaking, if I can get anywhere from 115 to uh, 130 from this car, I'm good. I'm not trying to break no sound battery. I'm not trying to break no speed limit. I get 115 to 130. I am good. I'm G-O-O-D good. So that's my plan. So the next big video you will see of this car going to be pushing the Armour Creighton ADA system combo in this. Okay? So that's my plan. That's my idea. And you will see pretty soon. And as always, it's Fang RC, baby. It is me, it is I. Stay tuned for our next video. Peace.